It's your boy Money Man Pablo. Meet me in the apartments with Pale. Hey, Pale. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, you already know, this your boy Pale live from DJ House Studios. We in the apartment with Pale. Meet me in the apartments. Listen, I love my city, ATL. Only thing I love more than my city, it's the west side of Atlanta. Shout out to Bankhead. Long live Swall, long live Shalalo, long live We Fly. Listen, one of the reasons I even started doing this podcast was for one, to give people game. I know we're at a time right now, everybody stands up with the game. Everybody want to be like, the game is to be sold, not told. No, nah, where I'm from, when I was growing up, the OG gave you the game. They ain't want to see you crash out. They ain't want to see you doing bad. You know what I'm saying? I want to continue to use my voice, you know what I'm saying, and link with other people in other places because there's real ones everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But if you never reach out and you never brush elbow with nobody, you'll never understand that. You'll just think in your little confinement what's going on, you'll think that that's it. Talking to a few people, man. You know what I'm saying? My homie Kenny hit me. Like, boy, I got somebody for you, like, tell you. And see, I'm going to tell y'all this. A lot of people hit me, but everybody don't come on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? See, these on straight long. So when a nigga hit, when, a nigga, when I hear somebody's name, first thing I do is, hey, boy, you ever heard about woo woo woo? Hey, what's going on? If your background ain't coming up like that, you nigga can't, nigga can't come sit with me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of you niggas out there be doing a lot of flaw-ass motherfucking shit now. You understand me? But I say that all they say, man. My next guest is a some, somebody that I met through somebody else. Well, I got, I got introduced him through somebody else. Made a few phone calls. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to have emotion. Shout out shout to he, he moving some. You know what I'm saying? So i like to welcome to my platform, Money Man Pablo. What's up, man? They grill, huh? Yeah. What are you talking about? They grill, huh? Now I know I know a few people. I know a few people in Augusta. I ain't gonna say I know a few, but I know a lot of people in fucking Augusta. You see what I'm saying? And I know y'all, you right by that by that place. Yeah. So I'm kind of like niggas like, yeah, shout it having, you know, shout it shooting videos and you know, I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? What going on with it? Like, shout it do his thing. You know what I'm saying? So the shit coming back now. So you know, if you ever you ever know how niggas see, cause niggas ain't gonna never tell you about you. Yeah. They gonna talk to you about everybody else. You see what I'm saying? But your shit coming up, dog. Welcome to the show, dog. So. Listen, man, what I always like to do on these motherfuckers, I always like to get to know the, the person who can send down the artist. I feel like more people know about you as a person, it makes you more relatable with your music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of artists that can't rap. They big as a motherfucker. You know why? Because people like them. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So when you like them, you're going to like the music, you're going to buy their clothes or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Tell everybody where you grew up from and what side of town. From the south side of Aiken. Tell me where Aiken at. All right, right beside Augusta. And the other side of Columbia, like in between the two. Yeah. What side of town? Is it, how, how, how is that shit broke up? Is it side of town, north, south? Like here, it's east, west, and south. Yeah, it's really like north, south, west. I think it might be like a little east, but... I don't know. I really, it's really like South Side, North Side, and West Side. Nah, for real, for real, for real. What part are you from? South Side. South Side. Well, how, how, to give me the breakdown how the city. Okay, like Atlanta, West Side, that's like the dark zone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like them all the grimy niggas. The niggas don't really want to go over there. East Side is more of a, like the niggas getting a lot of money. Foreign cars, you know, Cartiers. They stay fresh in the polos and shit. South Side is like a little mixture of both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a little hood, but then you got some prepping niggas. You got some niggas getting some money. You know what I'm saying? How's y'all see the broke up? I say the South Side more like, more like the richer folks, mm -hmm. like the more upper people. Not like everybody. I ain't. I don't mean like upper. Ah, right, we already know this show. We yeah. already know what you talk about. But yeah, but like the upper side, like it's more clean over here. The North Side, like. Slums, yeah, like it's it's more hood. West side kind of just like that too, but it's just like the south side just different from that shit. It's like you get a whole different. You from the money side, yeah, like. I'm so you saying that. big, you saying big boy shit, and the same shit these niggas saying you saying it just y'all saying on the lower side, we saying on the high side. Yeah, no, nah, nah, I can get, I can, I, I can get that. How was it growing up? You the only sibling? No, nah, my mama got eleven kids. God damn, boy, how where you fall at? Shit, I think I'm like 
Seven one. Seven one. So you 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 close to the other end, to the end on. Yeah. How 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 was it? How, was you influenced by any other any uh, of your siblings growing up? No. I took my own route. Took your own route. Was you did did you do that on purpose? Or it was just kind of thing like no, nah, I'm like, just. I really wanted things that she couldn't buy because mm-hmm. she had to ask the kids. So I was like, shit. I need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do to get what I want. How old you were when you said that? Shit, about. I don't know, I probably was young, probably like 14, 15. 15. But I probably wasn't like all the way set on what I was going to do. You still in, you still in the, I'm trying yeah. to figure it out stage, yeah, kind of like. But I already knew in my head, like, shit, I want this shit and I want that shit, but I got to figure out a way to get it. Was it was it a lot of things going on around you that you were seeing that was pulling your interest, like, boy, I got to get some of that shit right there, but I got to get one of those right there. I mean, yeah, like. I just see like fly shit. And I ain't never had fly shit. So like I always wanted fly shit. And then I just always knew I had to figure out. Like I just always knew I was gonna be somebody that get fly shit. Like one way or another, I'm gonna make sure I get fly shit. But as I got older, I start to understand like I'm gonna get this fly shit the right way though. Like without without knowing like I'm really about to watch over my back. Like, I'm going to get this fly shit and this, and this hard shit without fucking people over. Hey, I'm going to stay right. I'm going to be right with yeah, this shit. Yeah, like, that's, that's what, when I clicked in like that, that's when everything started going good for me. And I start just feeling like life just start coming to me easy as hell. I think that's a good thing. I, I think that with a lot of people who come from where we come from, we always got to take the mentality that it's kill or be killed all the time. Yeah. And I ain't telling people not to have that mentality, but don't take that mentality to use to march with this shit. You still got to have some righteousness to you. Yeah. And a lot of times when niggas in the street, niggas look at shit like, shit, I fuck that nigga. Nigga gonna fuck me over. Shit, nigga gonna do it to me. Or I'm gonna do it to another nigga. You see what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times that hold a lot of niggas back. Did you do anything when you kid? You play any sports or anything like that? Yeah, I played sports. You good at that shit? I was all right. You was all right? Yeah, I was all right. So you ain't never really had no sport dream or no shit like that? I mean, I did. I did, like, when I was still in school, probably, like, eighth grade, ninth grade, I still had it in me. But then that was when it was coming to the point to where I'm, like, I started, like, making money. 10th grade, you got your old with 10th grade, what? 10th grade, I ain't. It all, it's all with the, it's all with the grade, boy. Nigga gonna figure it out then. You about 15, 16. You like, boy, fuck this shit. I had got kicked out of school. For what? Shit, I, I, had, I had weed in the pill bottle. Like, I was trying to sell weed and shit, but I was making money. You bust, so you were bugging at school? Yeah. So I was bugging at school too, my dog. Yeah, and fucked around. I was leaving school one day. The police and the damn principal had came to me. Went for my book bag and shit. Fucked around, had got kicked out of school the rest of the school year. Nigga don't rat you out. Tell me how it happened. This pop me. I, I, we love a story. How it happened? Boom. You leave school, you walk down, what happened? I don't really remember how it happened. I just remember I was walking out, and I think I was skipping school. Like, they was, like, cutting down on people skipping school and shit. I was like, I'm going to leave school. And they just came up to me. Like, my mind said, nah, like, damn, I should have ran. But I look at it like, shit, it's probably good I ain't run because all the situations and shit I go through, I need to go through it so I can like learn and understand like what's going on. You I'm take your you take your losses as, uh, as lessons. Yeah, like I handle them and, and move on from them. But now I'm so elevated, like certain certain shit. I want to put myself in a situation or like some some shit. I just want to do. What do you, what do you think made that switch hit for you to say? You know what? I ain't gonna do this shit like everybody else do. I'm gonna I'm do this shit. I'm gonna do this shit on some G shit. What was that? What was it that make you say, I'm going to do it like that? When I got shot. How old you were when you got shot? Uh, I ain't. I think I just turned. It was 17 or 18. If you don't mind speaking, what happened? Shit. Nigga just got down. Nigga 
just caught you down bad. Yeah, just put that bitch on me. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I was in the mindset of like shit. I ain't, I ain't even have it in my heart. I wouldn't even know fucked up ass person like a person that a shoot a motherfucker. But a nigga just put that bitch on me, and I was like shit. Like man, don't get that bitch off me. Like you gonna force me to shoot your ass. You know what I'm saying? And shit, when I said that to a nigga, he blamed around move. I guess like. Thought I was about to shoot him or something. Like, I wasn't even about to do that shit, though. But yeah. shit. And they kind of changed your whole you know perspective like, on everything. Yeah, when I fucked around, got shot, went through the whole little process, fucked around, had my mouth wired shut and all that. And then got down. They shot you, shot you in the face? Yeah, right there. Mm. And the bullet came out right there. Blessings, dog. Yeah. But yeah, all that shit, though. I had shut down on the world for like a whole year. I sat to myself like, shit, I'm going to get my shit together. Like, I just know everybody already, like the whole world, it's like everything around me just turned against me. Like, everybody starts saying, you a snitch, nigga a rat, this and that. You know what I'm saying? See, like, I can really speak on it how I want to if I want to because... Niggas don't even know, like, right now, the case closed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But a motherfucker say what they want to say, say a nigga told this and that. So everybody just turned against me. And I really ain't had nobody but, like, the same people around me. Like, it wasn't nothing but me, my close family, and, like, like, two, three homeboys. Like, and I was like, how the fuck can I overcome all this shit and get money? And I... Sat back, started making me, kept making my music, and I see my fan base starting to grow. Mm-hmm. Like after I got shot, mm-hmm. I guess because it was some negative shit that drew an ass. Yeah, time so happened. So nigga, nigga get shot, go jail, boy. Yeah, got down, so turned to a celebrity. Advantage of, and I also figured out in my mind, like I gotta have a way that I'm gonna get me some money. Without, like, I'm gonna get me some money without. Having to worry about a real repercussion, like I'm not gonna fuck nobody over for this money. I'm gonna get that button on the wall. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. No, you G, they department, dog. We do all this shit, dog. This shit ain't no stage ass shit. Department, bro. We pad blunts, cups, all that shit, answer phones and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they department. How long, how long have been since you start doing music? Uh. I was doing music young, probably like, I was doing music like 14, 15, I was in school, like, uh, early, early high school, like, in the middle school, but it wasn't like no real shit, I was capping, just trying to put shit together that sound hard, Yeah, but yeah, starting to really like that shit. How, what got you into it though? What got you niggas freestyling at lunch, you had some partners who was doing it already, you were around them, like, what, what, what got you into music? I don't even be knowing. Like, some of the shit I don't forgot. Like, I don't forgot a lot of shit or how I even got, like. You just remember that time, that when I was about 14, that I started playing with that shit. Yeah, I just remember, like, me and my partners, like, we, we used to just be in there, fucked around, had got a little studio, and we just used to be in there making little songs and shit, like, trying to make little songs and shit. And Where y'all got y'all mute beats from? Just using them off YouTube. Fucking YouTube up, ain't it? Yeah, just grabbing them bitches, downloading them bitches, put it on there and use them. No, nah, that's for real. Do you remember your first song that you had that you were like, boy, I might have me a hit? I don't know. Which one was, homie? Wins and Lawson. Yeah, he talking about like, oh, that's a, see, that's like, that's like a song made within the last year. Like, that song he talking about, but like, so back then, you didn't really have nothing that chess was like, but them motherfucker it. You really chess learning, practicing. Yeah. Chess, trying, to, trying to find it, trying yeah, to find I had, that motherfucker. I had some song that I always felt like I was going to do some shit, but I ain't never had no, like, I ain't never I always felt like I ain't got no platform. I ain't got no way to let nobody hear. I always felt like I was hard enough to the point to where if I could ask people to hear this shit, they going to like this shit. They going to start fucking with me. I always just think that. I just always felt like all my songs was hard. Yeah, but now I got older, I, I feel like they bullshit and they, I laugh at them shits now, but 
I still felt like back then at that time it was if more people would have heard it, then I would have probably had more fans to this day still. Nah, nah, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. When you did this song, he talking about how when it was about a year ago, that was that motherfucker dog. For real, he ain't release it. He holding that shit. What you holding them shit for, dog? Yeah, it's like I be holding it. I don't hold it, but I hold it. it be, I be feeling like it's timing. Yeah, and I gotta know how to put that shit out. Like I'm still working on myself for how to release my music. Like I don't just want to just. Like, I I still be trying to find promotion teams and people to help me push it to the next level. Yeah, I spend money. I do ads and promotions and all that. But I'm trying to do more than that. Like. Because sometimes I feel like when I drop this song, I want to ask people to tune into it. Mm -hmm. I still want to have a promotion team and people to help me. So I drop other certain shit and just let it like. Until it just be, yeah, until like, I get to that time. Let it, let it keep, let it keep like maneuvering people in, maneuvering them in. So when I hit them with that, like maybe that, that song might be the one to take them. Because I already got a certain amount of people who are already going to promote it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. That, I'm gonna tell you that. Fuck that shit. Drop the motherfucker. You can make song, dog. Yeah. Feed your fan base. <coughs> Cause the more you feed your fan base, they gonna go be like, "Boy, you seen buddy's Pablo shit? Boy, that, that, this y'all shout it, Ryan." Then yeah. they gonna tell somebody else. Then they gonna tell somebody else. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Cause get what? Music don't never get old. Man, you can drop a song right now and then redrop that motherfucker again. Four more years. Yeah. You can bring that bitch back. You see what I'm saying? I know a lot of artists be having music and they be like, I'ma say this for a good time. I'ma say this for a good time. And that thing you know, you don't motherfucking looked up. That good time three years. Yeah. Now you got goddamn, now know, you got five hundred songs, you like, man, I don't wanna drop these songs. Them motherfucker old now. Yeah, I do that too. I do that. See, you know what I'm talking about. Like, drop the motherfucker. Like, you ain't gotta worry about that. Had to tell me. He was like, he was like, bro, you need to drop these shit. I'm like, man, that shit old. But I did just got down, just drop them on YouTube, like just to drop them. But yeah, if I would have probably dropped them back then, that bitch probably would have been already hitting. But yeah, I, you is right though. Yeah, man, like, drop them motherfuckers. Like, don't hold that shit, man. Nah, no. they gonna get too old on you. Yeah, I'm telling you from experience. Then you are gonna be like, I ain't putting that shit. That shit old as hell, yeah, man. That shit, you gonna look up? You gonna have goddamn a hundred songs? Yeah. Then you gonna be like, I don't put that. That shit old. That shit sound like because you gotta think. It's everything like you say. Like you wait for that time. The times change. So yeah. the same way you recording music now in another year or two. Them beats and them and them and them yeah, waves is gonna be, be different. different. Yeah, I know. What you're you doing. see what I'm saying? Now you don't kind of miss that motherfucker. Yeah, that is you see true. what I'm saying? Drop the motherfucker, dog. Yeah. Drop the motherfucker. Don't make me drop some shit tonight. I'm trying to tell you, drop, drop the motherfucker. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drop the motherfucker tonight. Put that bitch out. Get that nigga shit and put it out. Leak your shit. Leak your shit. Leak your shit. Be like, boy, I just leak your shit, boy. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You drop the motherfucker, man. Don't hold them bitch. You got a project you working on? Yeah, right now I'm trying to work on my album, like. I really got it together in the name and all. I'm just trying to figure out what songs exactly I'm gonna put on there. And like, like I said again, promotion. Like, I ain't. I, I'm gonna drop it, but I still won't. I still won't help pushing. Like, I don't give a damn about paying for this shit. Like, yeah. I want my shit. Hurt. You know, you see something need like, somebody who can help you. I I need to get help. Yeah, I'm you trying know what to I'm get saying? that shit out there so I can turn up for real. Cause I know once I'm in there, I'm in there. Like they, they don't love about. me for real. I know that already. Nah. I'm just trying to get in there. That's why I feel like when I drop my shit, I wanna I'm trying to have the team with me. Like, I, cause I know the team can make the dream work. I'm trying to make this shit work so I can turn up with this rap shit for real. So a lot of other shit that I'm doing, I can like, you know what I'm saying, maneuver away from it something and work on better. Some more shit. Yeah. No, that not that hard. How many videos you think you're gonna shot? I don't know. How many videos you think you unshot that you got unreleased? I don't know. It's getting nasty. How many unreleased? How many unreleased videos you got? I got a lot. I know I got about these, ten. I got these <laughs> ten right now. All on four K hard I, hell, just official. Yeah, I know that. All on finish your drop the motherfucker. Well, I told you I'm gonna drop an album too though. Drop them. I'm uh, I mean, you can't put them on the album. Cause get away if you put that motherfucker out and niggas ain't fucking with it, you know it not to put it on the album. Singles. Y'all yeah, gonna just drop drop ass songs and just I don't give a damn about to shoot videos to yes drop videos to all the songs on that bitch. Keep doing that. That what you keep doing. They're the game. They're the game. You know, if you pay attention, people don't really drop me taste an album no more. Yeah. 
No, for real. Everybody just keep dropping singles. They got that fan base. That's how you build it. Yeah. You keep dropping. It's success. See, this game is not about how hot you are, yeah. what you got, and people like you. It's about how consistent you're going to stay. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the game of anything. That shit like a fucking commercial. Yeah. You're going to see the same motherfucking commercial come on TV for 10 motherfucking years. That same motherfucking good year commercial. <laughs> then you got them be like, I need some ties. Yeah. First thing you think about, give me some motherfucking good year ties. Let me see what these ties talking about. Yeah. The food commercial. You don't eat there, you pull up at winners. You're like, let me see what this motherfucking new shit I've been seeing on TV talking about. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because you keep seeing it. If you don't keep seeing it, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be in your head no more. Yeah. You just gotta stay consistent. And if you working like you working, shooting all this shit, just keep fucking dropping. Mm-hmm. Just keep dropping. Drop some shit every month. Drop a video every month. Yeah. You do 12 videos, that's a whole year. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a whole year. You see what I'm saying? Homie, it's about you got more than that. You do two videos. Do 24 videos. If you, you don't think if you do 24 videos in a year and drop the motherfuckers, to every motherfucking month, you don't know, you don't think in a year you don't be on bitch your fan base. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you got a point. You feel me, man? Drop no motherfucker, man. Don't hold that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? You got, hey, every time you do, goddamn thirty songs, I'm dropping ten song mid tape. Yeah. And I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop ten videos to that mid tape, and I'm gonna drop ten videos to just singles. You see what I'm saying? And just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep politics. Keep Keep rubbing shoulder, keep brushing up, brushing up with niggas. Keep stay active on that social media. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Comment and shit like that. People like shit like that. Like I say, it's being consistent. You know what I'm saying? You can see, you can see a video. You can wrote, you can see if somebody keep having posting the nigga video, but you don't never go look at the nigga page. You just be like, you look at the clip, and be like, okay, boom, keep strong. Yeah. And you see it again, you look at the clip, like boom, keep strong. And you yeah. see it again, you be like. Uh, yeah, I ain't seen that nigga. Let me see that nigga work. Let me see what that nigga talking about. Yeah, you click on the page. You see what I'm saying? Go and see what he then you see what got he going on. Then if you fuck, and if nigga fuck what you got going on, and you keep dropping, you gonna keep him in. Yeah. Like a TV show, that bit come out one time a month. You know, you ain't gonna be anticipating that shit. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But fuck that. Every week that motherfucker dropping. Sunday that motherfucker dropping. That motherfucker come out Sunday. Shit, what time? Eight o'clock. Boy. Hey, I'm at home watching the motherfucker. All you mean all them TV show nigga be watching. All the street niggas be like, hey, boy, I'm finna go, I'm go on the white. That motherfucker show when it come on. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same way. But if you don't stay consistent, they're going to start following your ass. If you start posting on Instagram, they're going to start they gonna start pulling up on your page. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So anything you do is about consistency. What's hard for niggas to be consistent is niggas don't have the work ethic to be consistent. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But see, if you got video like that, it show you got the work ethic. You know what I'm saying? You just got to push the motherfucker. What's your favorite song right now that you don't did? What's your favorite song? It ain't gotta be like this is just like this a single like, but I just I like this song. This is one of my favorite songs right here. I don't know. I like "Topic in My City." Topic in My City. Yeah, I like that song. What you talking on that shit? Shit, let them know on the topic. They talking about. <laughs> yeah, I be having to let them know like, like what. Bullshit that be going on, I be having to let motherfuckers know, like, what's up, for real, like. You be speaking on it. Yeah, like, 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 for example, a female, like, I know I might do some fucked up shit sometimes, I might talk to a female or something sometimes, mm-hmm. but nah, bitch, oh, nah, bitch, but a female, you try, you try, like, I'm trying to get with you. Mm-hmm. But, like, it was just in that song. I was just on a, I was on a phase of just trying to stay out the radar, run my money up, bullshit. But when I just dropped that bitch, that bitch felt so good when I dropped that bitch. Yeah, that might be somebody on record like that. Hey, you talking about not yeah, free. I got, I got, I feel like I got, I got harder shit though. That, that's really harder than that. It's just, I feel like all my shit really hard. I ain't even gonna lie. Call, I, I, I really feel that shit. Like I don't just be talking. I ain't that shit be for real. About that shit about no frequency. Yeah, I don't talk about Lambo because I ain't got no damn Lambo. I talk about what I got and what I got going on exactly, and that's how I release it. So I might not sit right here and have a conversation with nobody for 30 minutes straight about the next level or how I'm feeling. Because it's really hard to get people to even sit down and listen for 30 minutes or something. But I can go sit on the mic and be in that bitch by myself and think all this shit I'm thinking and say it. And it'll be on a song and I'm liking this shit because I know that shit all. Nah, for real, for real. What type of music you like making? Trap music, music for girls, nigga, get some money music. Yeah. Like, what you, what, what's your, like, your go-to? I, 
I like money. Like I always like talk about like hustling. I talk, about, I like I pop a little bit. So I really don't be popping it, but I pop it a little bit. Just a little and bit. A little, I, little I really like speak on how I feel, like how I feel, and don't push me. Like I ain't trying to. Like I ain't. I don't really diss. I'm not no dissing person. But I'm finna let you know, like. Like, this is my warning instead of me literally saying it to you. Like, sometimes you need to listen to what I'm saying because I'm not playing. You know yeah. I'm saying? Like, so my, I, I want to say I have an actual go-to. It just depends off the mood. Depending on your mood. Yeah. No, for sure, for sure. I, I think I think that music definitely moves people's mood. And I think a lot of people now play music on mood. It ain't necessary. I got a favorite artist or I got a favorite song. Shit, when I'm feeling like that, I like to listen to this. Yeah. I like to listen to this and this. You know what I'm saying? When I'm feeling like, when I'm ready to get down, go to the club and get, oh, I, I want to listen to this, but yeah. I don't want to listen to that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? No, for real, for real, man. I, th- I think that I think that's dope, man. Yeah, man. You got to drop that shit tonight, dog. Mm-hmm. No, for real, for real. Man, I'm going to drop something for real. I don't know where I'm going to drop. No, nah, for real, for real, man. Um, He's talking about silent. Yeah. Drop yeah, that motherfucker. Drop that motherfucker. He might well drop three. He might well tell you one. He tell you one. He tell you one. Drop three videos? Hell yeah. God damn. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> nigga put the motherfucking pick the motherfucker and drop the motherfucker. Nigga, criminal special, nigga. <laughs> nigga, criminal special, nigga. Criminal special, right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you talking about? I'm gonna keep dropping them bitches. Criminal special, shout out Parlay in it. Hey, you talking about? For real. Hey, you talking about? Nah, drop the motherfucker, dog. You know what I'm saying? Drop three, I'm finna drop one Christmas. I'm finna drop one Christmas Eve and Christmas. Then I'm finna drop one New Year Eve and New Year. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to yell like this. That's how I'm on. That's what I'm on right here. I really, I don't, I'm trying to figure out I'm gonna drop that album now. I just don't got no date. Yeah, this will get it warmed up, though. Then you know, then this will get them excited for it. Yeah. But what else you got, boy? You got some more? Yeah, I got some more shit coming up. They start talking about it on your social media. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Getting niggas clips of the other shit. You got to bait a nigga in, dog. Yeah, this right. shit like the street. You know what I'm saying? You got to got them pull up, roll one up, smoke one with a nigga, pass it, that nigga. What that is right there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I got did too. I got did too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know how this <laughs> shit go. You got to get any photos. Yeah, you got to give them that same shit. You got to yeah. pull, pull them in. That's what right. I got right here. Yeah, yeah smell the aroma, man. Tell everybody. They be like, bro, you go as hard in the rap game as you do in the shot game. It's all the being blue. It's the same being it, dog. Yeah. It's the same thing. You just got to understand this shit. Yeah, you should. Say, this, I also feel your, like. Your music, your music is your product. I feel like that money, all that shit matter, too. Yeah, they do. I used to always feel like I ain't. Some shit I just don't want to do without a certain amount of money. But I'm going to tell you what it is. Money, money don't never equate to a grind. You can have a million dollars, you can have a million money. Mm-hmm. A nigga who grind hard, he gonna get way more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He gonna get way more money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you gonna, you gotta grind. That was, that nigga grind. That's how you come on up. You know what I'm saying? Think about when nigga got down trying to come up on that on that hole. And you just working, 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 hard. You ain't doing that, you putting it up. Soon you get the hole, you get last of days. I ain't partying, he ain't standing up. I ain't, I ain't getting up. Nah, bro, I ain't pulling up, bro. I, ain't, I see you tomorrow, bro. I don't want that $500. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, you got to stay grinding. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So if you keep grinding, everything going to come, it's going to come before you know it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You gonna, if anything you know, you're going to look up, you're going to keep reading up, reading up, you're going to look up, you're going to be like, where did I get the extra 17000 from? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? You're going to look up, you're going to be like, boy, I got 20 more thousand followers? <laughs> Shit, what are you at there? You know what I'm saying? So you got to stay consistent, dog. Tell everybody where you can follow you at. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, Money Man Pablo underscore. And I just got my Facebook account back, Money Man Pablo. Do got one account. What your YouTube is? Uh, Money Man Pablo. Man, come on, y'all come shout y'all self out, man. The crew, man. Yeah, man, come, se- yeah, come shout y'all self out, man. Right yeah, yeah, man, come shout yourself out, man. Grab that motherfucker, man. Underscore. Man, get a shot to the um, GTR, man. Tell them what that is, um, Pablo. Oh, yeah, see, that's the record label. Yeah, t- put a mic up. Tell them what it is, dog. You know what I'm see, that's the record label. That shit right there. And get stand for getting to riches. That shit. Like, you can't do nothing but get to the riches. Yeah, like, you talking about? Yeah, some shit like we came up with when we was young and really went and got it solidified finally. Like, it took a little minute, though, but we really got that shit like. Record label and the clothing. Oh no, nah, no, nah, for real, man. Y'all got some new ones. Shout out my camera, man. You know what I'm saying? DJ Nash 803. <laughs>
Yeah, no, nah, for real. Brother. That boy nasty. Nah, that for real, for real. That boy go crazy. <laughs> I, I, ain't, I hate to say it, but that boy, that boy top three in my way and riding this bitch. No, nah, for hey. real, for real. I gotta get with him. I gotta see some of his shit, though. What? Yeah, man. You gotta see. Drop a video so I can see it. I wanna do I wanna see some new I shit. Drop that hot shit tonight for you. Yeah, man. See, tag yeah, me on that motherfucker. I'm gonna drop that hot shit for you tonight. Yeah, turn me on. I'm gonna post Just it. For you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna post it. Nigga, tap, tap that shit, man. Yeah, I man. It, yeah. You heard it here. God damn it, exclusive. It's getting dropped, god damn it. You go check hey. on this shit right now, man. Tonight. Money <laughs> man, Paul, I want to say appreciate you for stopping by the dog department, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this ain't the last time. Next time you got down, you got something going on, yeah. pull up again. Nigga. After you drop them next 10, whatever, pull up again. And you, when, the, when the album drop, nigga, pull up again. We're going to keep talking about it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep building. We're going to keep building the fan base. We're going to keep doing what we're doing, dog. You know what I'm saying? You already know this your boy, Pale, man. Live from Digital House Studio. Till next time. We in the apartment with Pale. Meet me in the apartments.